Hi, everyone, and welcome to um, an, another installment in our Q&A series on Halo. Uh, today with me, again, I have my all-time favorite person at, at Halo, um, Mr. Halo himself. Um, and I know that, he, I, I haven't said this for a little while, so I know that he's um, he's been scratching his own head um, because uh, uh, no one's scratching it for him. So, um, Morgan, how, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, very well. It's good to be back. Uh and and to, to hear the praise once again. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I literally go, you know, anywhere I go where I speak about Halo, people know Mr. Halo. So um yeah, it's uh, I like it. Your your reputation precedes you, mate. So <laughs> today we're gonna talk about um, you know, generating ticket PDFs, um, you know, printing reports via ticket actions, those kind of things. I think there's a um the these questions come up quite a lot, and we thought this would be a good one to to do a video on. So Yes, absolutely. And this, the topic for this sort of stemmed from uh, a conversation that Chris, you were having with uh, an MSP that's using Halo, but this is something that I've come across in the past before uh, for various different reasons, uh, doing things like uh, creating change orders um, returning, not a quote, but a, a document. Um, from from the ticket so yeah as, as chris mentions we'll be covering uh how to print or how to generate the ticket pdf uh, directly from a ticket directly from an action and then also how to do that uh, with a report so yeah mm. without further ado and, and sorry i was gonna say i mean in this particular use case it's you know they they kind of print out all the details on the ticket to to take to their engineer you know give to their engineers and it's um uh you know instead of because sometimes their engineer doesn't either have a tablet with them or doesn't have access to to their computer or anything like that um so they like to give them a, a physical printout of this is the ticket details you know take this on site and you know, fill in your time manually and we'll do it when you get back and you know very old school but it's 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 kind of you know still i see that still in practice quite a lot today so um, so yeah, there's a lot of use cases for this. Cool. So we'll start off just by talking about generating PDFs from tickets. So uh, if we go into a ticket, it's a good place to start. Yeah. We'll see, we've got uh, a an option in the top right in our additional options to print ticket. Okay. Clicking that will generate uh, a PDF based on the information uh, for the ticket in question. Now, this template that we're looking at here is the same mechanism for all of the PDF uh, documents, PDF templates that we have in Halo, uh, and it's configured either via the, uh, the drag and drop editor or directly via HTML. And you can find those templates in config documents against our tickets entity. Very similar screen here to like our quote templates or our invoice templates, for example. We've got the pages tab. We've got our HTML um, that presents the formatting in question. Now, we also have the ability on a ticket type by ticket type basis to set the PDF template that is used. So in config tickets, ticket types, I think in our defaults, template. Uh, cool. And uh, this uh, this raises another point that, that Chris and I were just talking about two minutes before we hopped on a session. Um, you'll notice how I went to the place that uh, I thought it was in, but it's no longer there. And you'll notice that it's now in the settings tab. Little point to watch out for. We have, as we've been adding more and more configuration options to our ticket types, it's got to a point where uh, we needed to create more tabs. So. Uh, I, as I think as of the latest beta, um, you'll find the tabs have been more split out. 
So if you're looking for an option that you could have sworn was in details, but it's no longer there, just bear in mind that uh, we've got the forms tab now uh, and we've got the settings tab as well. Yeah. Um, and that could so be in, through me. And and I, I I wasn't just, I could have sworn that this was there. I was actually swearing at Halo. No, I'm kidding. I was like, <laughs> where have they actually moved this stuff to? And um, so, yeah, it, it completely threw me and I know it completely threw Morgan um, the first time you saw it as well. So, um, yeah, so that's where it's moved to. Yeah. Um, and so now in the settings tab, we have uh, the option here to set the PDF template for our tickets that we've got in there. Um, and that will determine the, the PDF template that is used when generating the PDF for our tickets based on the tickets type. That's one way of doing it. Uh, one too many clicks, I suppose, having to go, firstly, having to remember to go to the free dots, then having to, to click that option to generate the PDF. You might actually want to speed that process up a little bit and uh, have an action uh, at the top of your tickets that generates the PDF for you. And you can do that by creating an action Uh, and specifically under the details of the action, under report settings, selecting the template that you want in here. So uh, by default, I think it's just no, so it's not going to generate the PDF template. But then if you pick a template, you'll then find that performing the action attaches that PDF, uh, that ticket PDF. Now, at that point, you uh, you could either just make this action a quick action, and the outcome would be something that looks like this. Uh, on your action, you uh, sorry, on your ticket, you've got your action print PDF. Click that. And we can see that performing that action has attached our PDF, just like so. And I suppose you could take that a step further as well uh, and have that action email the end user. So it might be that you actually want to email this report directly to the user from the action. So again, you could set up your action to email the end user or email someone um, and it would include that as an attachment. Now you'll also see, if we go back to the configuration of that action, We have here uh, this run report. So you can attach the ticket PDF, but you might instead actually want to attach a report associated to the ticket, billable hours perhaps, uh, or, or something similar to that. Now, if you wanted to do that in this dropdown, you just pick the report that it is that you want to run. And you'll see when you select the report, uh, you've got a few options as to what to attach. Do you want to attach the report PDF? Do you want to attach it as a CSV or perhaps just attach the raw JSON? And furthermore, you can see uh, there's a little note below that mentions that you can also use dollar report data or dollar report JSON to, um, to return the contents of that report in the note for the action. So... You could also go to your defaults tab and in your default note, set that uh, dollar report data and then I'm guessing it doesn't have anything on here at the minute um, because the report is empty, but yeah, you can see that's attached to the ticket PDF and attached to the report. So you can get quite creative with these so i've worked with uh, someone in the past who wanted to dynamically update values against user records in halo uh, based on details of the ticket in question and we kind of found a solution by creating a report for the ticket generating the json for that report 
and then using that JSON in a custom integration run book uh, to dynamically update those values. So you can you can get quite creative with how you, you go about that, um, how you go about using that. Another example is uh, someone wanted a basic RMA uh, sheet to, to send to a given address. And uh, that sheet, they wanted the contents of that sheet to be based on fields that we add to the ticket. So the device, you know, is it a repair replacement? It, it, uh, if it's a, if it's a repair, what's broken with it? When's the date? Who signed it off? That kind of stuff, um, which we can add as fields on the ticket. And then we can use those fields in a ticket PDF and attach that PDF. So uh, if you're ever thinking about uh, does Halo generate this certain type of document for me? Uh, and if the answer is not no, it's not native, you can always come back to the, the fact that you can actually construct your own documents based on the fields that you have on the, your ticket uh, and a little bit of HTML wizardry to, to format that as a page and then return the associated PDF. So, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think Morgan, that might be a good a, a good video to do actually at some point. I think for for us to to do maybe after this Q and A series or or even as part of it is is actually go through that in detail. You know, how would we add some uh, some custom fields to a ticket and mm -hmm. then say, you know, here's a PDF with all that information. That could be, you know, what could be really good with that. This could be kind of almost like a um, a customer onboarding or new user onboarding thing, right? Where it's Hey, you know, welcome, welcome to the company. Here's here's a list of all your, you know, here's your login, here's your temporary password, you know, um, all these things. And you might want to send that as a PDF to somebody to go. Here's all the details that you might need, so they can sure. paste it up on their wall or whatever sure. they want. But yeah, all right, uh, jot that down. We'll uh, we'll we'll do that in in a couple of weeks' time. We'll do a nice start to end the whole shebang. Build a ticket type, build uh, custom fields build a template, format the template using the custom fields, put in a workflow, maybe put a, chuck an approval in there somewhere um, yeah. and then send that to an address. As also um, it's another point, it's not very well known, sort of uh, adjacent to this fact is in your actions, in the defaults tab for an action, you can override who you're sending the email to uh, by populating the to address override here. And this can actually be a custom field. So we'll, um, and not only a custom field at ticket level, but a custom field at client level. So it might be that we have, and again, this touches on a point that I've discussed with another one of our customers recently, uh, where they have subsets of users per customer who, who need to receive uh, a certain report for uh, based on a change request or uh, you know based on on a vulnerability assessment or something like that and um, they need they need to receive some formatted document the individuals are specific to the customer uh, obviously they they wanted to automate as much as possible so we have custom fields at customer level and an action that sends an email to those users based on the customer. So, uh, yeah, when we do that, that start to end, we'll make sure we chuck that in there as well. Uh, yeah. A handy little point to know. I think that would be really cool. Um, yeah, and I've used that default too and 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 CC a, a couple of times um, on on that ticket as well. So yeah, I think it's there's so many of these little handy things. I think a lot of people don't use because they don't know about them, but. Um, yeah. hopefully through this video series, we'll kind of try and address a lot of these, you know, sure. little things that people may not know about. So, yeah, well, like we said, we've, we've done our basic implementation. Now people should understand what ticket types and workflows and actions and billing yeah. plan combinations are. Uh, now we're getting into the nitty gritty and having a look at some of the cool ways that, uh, you know, Halo becomes uh, really powerful with, with the, these little tweaks. So, yeah. 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 Okay, that's brilliant. Great. I think uh, I think we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I think let's make this a nice short one. Um, good. Um, good video to do. So once again, always um, as always, Morgan. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you for Halo to Halo for letting us borrow you and do these videos. 
they really are getting a huge amount of traction. So I think, you know, everyone's loving them. Um, and if nothing else, mm -hmm. you're getting a good, um, a, a good kind of reputation out there as Mr. Halo, right? So if, sure. if nothing else, um, everyone else is going to start calling you that from now on as well. Um, so thanks that's very why, much. That's why I do it. That's yeah, the real yeah. reason why I do it. The only reason, right? It's nothing to do with me yeah. or anyone else. It's just that's the, exactly. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Yeah, always a pleasure. And see you on the next one. See you on the next one.